Hello and welcome back. Another week, another diary. Just a quick thanks to everybody who commented last week because you missed me. You're crazy. But no, it was good to get a video back. Good to talk to you all in the comments. <sighs> Believe it or not, I'm ill again. I don't know what is going on. Since I had COVID last year, I'm ill every six, seven weeks. And um, got back from Mallorca last week. I was fine for two or three days and all of a sudden chest infection, coughing, sneezing, money nose. <sighs> but hey ho, I'm just ticking all the illnesses off the list. I want them all. No, I don't. I'm fed up with it. I just want to be better. So what better way to make me feel a bit better and a bit more normal is picking up the GoPro. So just going to have a quick closer look at up the chag just to see how her rehabilitation of smashing herself and a slight damaged chin we'll have a closer look at her in a minute other than that looking good just wish it just wish it would warm up and i wish it wouldn't have a constant headache anyway oh god all of this is really getting on my naki noonas i'm gonna start to order I need to do a bit of measurements. So the plan here is this line here, I want to carry it all the way along, just sort of there. This is going to be slightly higher than this stuff. Uh, so I'm going to need to dig a bit of a channel to put a bed in with some brick. And then I want to get this side of the garden done this year. So I'm going to get that line put in, some engineering bricks or something like that up here, and then hardcore this and then possibly paved i still haven't decided what paving i want all i do know is it's going to cost a small fortune so it won't all be done this year it will be done in bits hopefully some of that as i say that section of area at the pond this year maybe half of the other area next year and then another half the year after i don't know everything is just so goddamn expensive as everybody knows along with everything else in the world Everything is going absolutely crazy, isn't it? The cost of living is through the roof. So uh, hobbies, koi ponds, is definitely on the back burner. Let you in a secret, I want a new bike as well. So yeah, that'll be a few quid. So um, we'll see. But all of this, I've got some weed killer, so I'm gonna dig that out and blast this area. Still haven't got round to planting all my aces and stuff, but no immediate rush. And I did the draw. Naughty me. Thanks for everyone that did enter. Thanks for your patience. Um, the three people that won were over the moon, as I'm sure anybody would that won. So, uh, as I said to them and I said to everybody else, thanks for waiting and sticking with me. We got there in the end, but yeah. Let's just going to have a quick look, make sure everything's working in here. I had a slight problem when I was away. When I was away, it's only away for five days, but the wife said, since I've been away, the meter reading on the smart meter for electricity was way down, so I'm obviously the heavy user of electricity. And I'm like, is the pond working? She said she looked out, and obviously there were bubbles from the bottom drain, so I assumed everything was fine, and maybe it was my son's computer, or something like that that's normally on wasn't on, so the cost of electricity was a lot less. When I came back, um, one of the trip switches had gone in my box here, it was sockets back. So I don't know what that refers to, that must refer to them sockets. And then them sockets are a socket side. So sockets back are tripped, so... That also, I'm trying to think what else is connected. Well basically the drum wasn't operational, or maybe it was these sockets. I don't know. All that was working was the bottom drain air. Nothing else in the pond was working, so no drum was on. I think probably a maximum of two days, 48 hours, because looking back on the electricity costs, uh, it dropped by about three pound a day for the, the day before I came back, and then the day I arrived, when I came home and looked, it was a couple of quid less than where it should be, then I flipped it up, and then the day after we were back up to the normal cost per day. So I think to run the pond, it's probably, actually in some ways, uh, 
a bit of a, an eye opener. It probably costs to run my pond and my setup as it is about three quid a day, so about hundred pound a month. I don't know if that's good or bad. Well, that's where it is. It was, as I say, it was about three quid, so I'm going to take that as it's three pounds to run the pond, pond per day for electricity. Weed had took over. Oh my God, there was an absolute multitude of green algae within the pond and the drum went into overdrive cleaning to clear the water. But literally the next day, everything was back and then the day after you wouldn't have even known. I'll tell you what did happen, if you haven't already noticed it on last week's video, I don't know whether it's still here now. I had this strange white crusty line around the pond and on the top of the window where the water line was but um let's say the fish the fish didn't look like to be affected the air was on at least uh, although the auto feeder was going off four times a day it wasn't the end of the world and they say water cleared up and everyone looked okay bit of a strange one don't know why it went off we do tend to suffer from a lot of mini power cuts here so whether or not the power had gone off that sometimes we get like an instantaneous, the power goes off and it's that quick, it doesn't actually reset anything. It could have just tripped the that that box for some reason. But it's been fine. I've been back a week now and uh, not a problem. Just look at them, look, they're just bloody hungry. Anyway, I'm going to go and stop for some lunch and yet again, it seems to roll around quick. I've got to cut the grass again, it's an absolute mess. And as I said, I'm not feeling too good, so I might cut the grass and go inside. Then again, I might not bother. I might just go inside. Right, catch you later. See ya. All I want to do at the minute now, she's bashed her bloody nose now, look. Is eat. Look. So I'm not going to do anything else with her. All I did, like I said in last last week's video, was a bit of row call to clean it up. Well, dried dried the wound off, cleaned it up with row call, dried that off, and then just put some tamadine on it. And that horrible dark knock on her tail there, that's clearing up as well. So. Ooh. No major panic, didn't do anything else, just my normal topping up with fresh water. Didn't chuck anything in the water in the pond either, I didn't want to start adding stuff. So, yeah, good. They know the good weather's coming, they just want us to munch the food, get the energy for summer. Oh dear, still haven't done that. I'm going to do that this week because I'll have a work van at some point so I can clean the windows properly. Every time the air goes off, smashing the drain. No more, mate. the world come to.
I'm going to clean the windows on the pond before I clean the windows on the house. Watch me. No bad muck. But I do need to get the old Rykal on it. There's a few water stains. Probably won't even pick that up on the camera, but there are a few. And they are just wanting food non stop at the minute. Crazy fish. I do need to do the inside. Look, there's some green there. But one job at a time. Be rushed into these things, do I? You know, I'll work. Again, a bit of water stain in this side, a bit more so on this side because the water level's a little higher, or well, the window's a bit lower this side because of my poor build, so the water level's a lot higher up the window. But anyway, that's literally it. It's me cleaning the window. Do it better for a clean bit of glass. Alright, anyway, I'm going in, getting a cup of tea, got some work to do. Catch you later. Bye. Oh no. I'm not doing that. I've done the pond, I'm not doing the house. not too keen on the fish. Hello, started over here today. Heat's on, as you can see. Excuse me, I just had something to eat. Um, as you probably know, the weather is looking quite groovy for the next, well it is for here, for the next few weeks. So I've knocked the heater up to 16. Again, like I said before, I'm just going to chase the. But I'm going to chase the ambient te temperatures, and follow it upwards or downwards if it does that. But should be getting into some good stuff next few weeks. So it's up 16 degrees, and from 15, even though the heater hasn't actually been on for. Well, if it has, it's not been on for very long, over a week or so, because. It was set to 15 and it's been hovering around 14 and a half to 15 anyway. So as I say, knocked up to 15, 16. It's gonna to top the pond temp up now to that. And no doubt send this lot mental. Well, they're a bit mental anyway, look. You can't walk past the pond at the minute without getting uh, accosted with koi looking for food. So there we go, that's that lot. And in a minute, I've just been to be in queue, bought some compost for my aces. I'm gonna take the the sheeting off and I'm gonna plant my aces up. I bought another one. Which I've been looking for that one for a while. It's not as big as I'd like, but it was only something like 19 quid, 16 quid, something like that. 
I'm gonna plant these up and then probably panic that I haven't got any enough plants to fill the space but it, it's a start I'm gonna get them in because I'm fed up with watering the pots at least if they're in the ground it's a bit easier to water and the likelihood of them not dying through lack of water is better so yes and that they keep the smaller ones keep blowing over and it's winding me up so they're going to be planted in about half an hour and then I bought some weed killer I'm going to give this lot of bloody weed killer in get rid of some of these weeds and I've got a mate getting me some of the weed suppressant stuff from where he works so I'm going to cover all of this and I might start thinking about getting rid of the decking because I nearly fell through it earlier it's wrapped it's absolutely wrecked but there we go So that's it for this week, not a huge amount going on, nothing pond wise really, uh, I'm happy with everybody's health and condition, they're not, she's looking way better, chin is nearly completely disappeared, tummy's a lot lighter in colour, so whatever that was is on its way out, apart from a stupid busted nose. But I think that might be partly due to feeding. When the feeder goes in, the bottom drain there obviously pushes the pellets back a bit. And she's under there. I noticed the other day when she was under there, she was quite aggressively trying to get the pellets and she smashed her, head, well, her mouth, touched the bottom of the bit of wood that's overlapping for the auto feeder. So whether or not it was from that, I don't know, but I'm not seeing it as a problem. I'm not going to do anything with that, just leave it alone, it'll, it'll disappear on its own. But yeah, and then maybe in the next couple of weeks, start increasing the feeder touch. As I said before, they're being fed four times a day on the level two set, and I can't remember how many grams it is, but uh, it's not a massive amount. In fact, let me do it. What I need to do is have a measure. Me pot. I've actually got it written down somewhere. If I do two now, we're we getting that amount four times a day, which isn't touching the sides, obviously. As you can see, there are a lot of pellets here, and um. When she goes crazy, Chubbs, she's the most aggressive feeder in the pond. She pops her head up and think possibly at the bottom of that, but... Yes, I don't know how many grams that is. 30 grams, maybe? 40 grams? Maybe a bit less? I don't know. I'm just guessing here, aren't I? There we go, let's see. She's absolutely mental. It's crazy. So yeah, that's it for this week. Not a massive amount going on, as I say. But hopefully now, into full swing, summer is definitely well on the way. And I just need to decide what I'm doing over here with all of this. I want to get that sorted as well. I want to oh, jobs galore. Just need to. I want to get everything finished. But you know, always comes down to money. But that new bike is calling, so we'll see. Anyway, so thanks for watching this week. I'll catch you at some point, probably next week. And I know I need to get a couple of other videos out with regards to the ad and buy stuff. I've started putting something together, so keep your eye out for that if you're in on that or you're interested. That will be out at some point soon. I'm going to get my arse in to get it sorted out. Anyway, catch you later. See ya. Bye.